folks, Publisher Gaming here. Welcome back to Elite Dangerous. Uh, in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to go ahead and land on planets safely. Uh, so first things first, to land on a planet. The first things, the very first thing is you need to have the Horizon DLC installed. That will be free uh, for everybody in a date with, who has not bought it already. Uh, on October 27th, uh, so 12 days after the date of this recording, the Horizon DLC will be free. So I was just waiting, I was just waiting until then to pick it up. Uh, the second thing is to find a planet that is landable. Let's go ahead and go into our system. Let's have this uh, little blue ring around it that shows that this is landable. For example, this is a blue ring. This is landable. That's a sun. That's well, obviously not landable. This um, is obviously not landable. Uh, not yet anyway. It will probably be landable with Odyssey, which comes out next year. I'm very excited for that. Um, this is landable as well. Anything with a blue ring around it will be landable. The second thing to check is the gravity right now. I am at this point. So if you want to check the battery, the gravity, there are two ways. Uh, you can click on this little, click on this right here. So if you're here, go to this little uh, tab, give you locations, your gravity will be 0.37 Gs, which is not bad at all. Um, and then you can also go into your navigational panel, press 1. Uh, if you want to see about more information about that, check out the link in the description. And you click on the planet you're targeting. Uh, go ahead and click surface map and go to this world tab again and then it will also give you the gravity additionally it will give you some uh, if there's like a uh, biological or geological locations on the planet it will show you uh, it will also give you surface temperature which isn't really well which, which is relevant which isn't relevant um, if it has an atmosphere or uh, volcano activity it will shift it will tell you and there's a bunch of other stuff here too as well you can feel free to take a look at but like i said we're going to go back again to when you have a land on the planet so after you've targeted the planet and you pull it up in your system map and you've checked that it's landable and you've checked the gravity i would always suggest checking the gravity then you want to do again you're going to go ahead and target the planet you want to go ahead toward it So when you come across your, when you come closer, you're going to see a big blue ring and a, and a little blue ring. As you get closer, that ring's gonna get smaller and smaller. That means you can land on the planet. And essentially, when you get close enough, you get an impact warning. Just kind of ignore it. So you're really gonna want to slow down to about uh, three megameters a sec, uh, three megameters a second, and you'll see the planet will get uh, uh, closer and closer in the distance. So you can see we have ourselves a beautiful. Uh, I see planet here. When I keep heading, so first off, you're going to see this little, this big blue ring around. That means you can land on the planet. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna keep going forward, and you can put, turn that off using the enter key. So you can keep it on, turn it off. But I like to have keep it on. And we're gonna keep going forward, and then you will see this uh, little yellow ring as well. So once we enter this big blue ring, this essentially means that we are within the planet's area. And then eventually we'll keep going down until we hit the yellow ring. So once we hit the blue ring, I'll just show you. Right, so you'll see an altimeter, and I'll show you this is in mega and mil and mega meters. And then you see the planet getting bigger and bigger on your surface. And eventually, after a certain point, you see your altimeter begin to develop like you will find in F-35. And now you will see this altimeter. So what you want to do is you want to generally stay around zero and then wait until you get to it and then you want to well you can either generally stay around zero that's why i was just doing the first time or you can angle down a little bit and then wait till you get under the yellow line because once you get under the yellow line that will drop you out of super cruise if you go down too far um i think you hit the red and that will automatically kick you out of super cruise so you really don't want to do that i will also show you the distance to the planet before you land so what's going to happen, you're going to drop from Super Cruise and you're going to hit a uh, the glide mode. So what you want to do for this one, you really just generally want to kind of try to stay in the blue zone. Uh, because if you go to zero, it will cancel it. You're going to want to have your thrusters uh, in the little blue zone as indicated here as well. And uh, you can go faster or slower depending on how you have pips allocated. Once you're done getting out of the glide zone, To the surface of the planet. Uh, a few quick tips. I would obviously once you get turned your lights on, I have it bound to the alt, to the left alt key and your night vision on as well, especially if it's dark. 
so you can see the plant so night vision off night vision on makes a lot of difference so when I keep going down on the right hand side you will see your altitude you can also see uh, coordinates as well and that's useful for triangle locations of POI such as guardian beacons uh, thargoid site etc etc and then you also see your lag that's that's your latitude as well of longitude one of the two I forget which one with so you just want to keep going down if you're on a higher gravity planet you should generally take your time and making a bit of an angled descent but assuming you have easy thrusters um, you should be fine you just want to keep at a consistent angle going down so you just keep heading down like this make sure you want to go ahead the, the same controls that allow you to fly in space are the same controls that allow you to fly on the planet so you generally want to boost up and then eventually once you bubble out maybe about one and a half to two kilometers above the ground you want to zero mode and you want and you want to want to go ahead and press the F key to go down and start descending. A new I pull pilot here, and then when you get whipping about, I don't know, say 500 meters, deploy your landing gear, press all your counteract the thrust, and you may have an easier, harder time depending on the ship. Some ships have uh, bad lateral thrusters, some ships have good lateral thrusters. And then you want to go slowly, slow it down a bit. Then after you're close enough, so about 130 to 200 meters um, off the ground, you want to deploy your landing gear. And then you see that little bar, that means you need to be in line. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to follow the direction it indicates. So in this case, just go up, you get in alignment okay. Uh, so slowly proceed down. So I proceed down. I tell you to slow down, you can just kind of really ignore that though. Uh, some place where you kick your land out to go. This is a very low key plant. And you know, go down, go down, you keep going down, you know, keep going down, keep going down, keep going down all the way until so when you when you go down, if you're good to go, you'll be in a, your ship can actually blue and you'll be able to land. So you're gonna have to go ahead and land. And we should be good to go. And then once you are have landed, you're good to go. So you see, we have landed on this planet. Thank you, folks. And stay tuned for the next video on how to successfully use the SRV implants and how to get off of planets. Thank you, folks. And I will see y'all in the next video. Thank you.